there's a lot of options and um, the the deeper question is why do we need to do modifications i think because what we went is kind of backwards with saddle designs in the last 10 15 years in the whole in our industry so that veterinarians and universities write articles such as this one here where they talk about the importance of the twist of the saddle fit you know and um, yes we want a close contact as riders with the horse but what happens is that the actual well fitting becomes an issue because by making here down there there's the bar and by making them narrow and narrow through the bar um the saddle becomes hollow in the center and if you look at the old saddles on the top left then to the western saddle top right and then this is just to compare these are the bars here and these are the first bars see how wide they are especially in the yeah. center and by making them narrow 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 these narrow bars becoming a huge problems so i outlined on the horse's back here with the white where the saddle would hit and then that green rectangle shape that's where it should fit and you can see the 30 40 30 you can see that where the center where the rider sits this is where the tree used to be the widest see that medicine how wide the bars are in the center yep and then because of the fit of the oh we want more closer contact they took it away so what's so special in that center here what is special is that there is where the spinal processes are straight and in the front they fall back and in the back they fall forward so it used to be um this white line here right there in the area where the spinal processes are forward falling back we have okay. more contact of the tree in the back yeah. here and in the front and in the middle yeah so obviously the solution would be we go back the way it was but nobody likes it because it's too wide so the solution therefore is this is actually we want product of the year award in a huge trade fair in new zealand where we introduce the binate line where the tree has a it's a two-part tree it's a very 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 strong thin material so these two parts um have a less thickness than one old traditional tree so what i'm saying is the top here for the rider is super narrow twist but for the horse you see the outline the dotted line down there for the horse you got a super wide twist so the modification on today's modern saddles the answer is you got to give the horse a wide twist but maintain a narrow twist for the rider so with today's technology it's possible if you have an old schlesser saddles we can easily convert that um, we also have psi panels in order to um, avoid the problem with kissing spine because if we go back to the to the system where the trees are super narrow in the front in the middle and put all the pressure right there where the spinal process form back forward or backwards either or if you're in the back on the front that's where we create kissing spine if we increase the width in the center okay so you can see the dotted line there then we have higher weight bearing surface stuffing will not do it makes absolutely no difference how wide the panel is and how much do you stuff it what you stuff in there because think about a sock okay if you have a sock on your foot and you walk over pebbles okay you feel them but what if in the sock would be material what follows the follow of the sh of your foot you don't feel the pebbles and that's the same system with the binate saddle so in order to avoid kissing spine we need to increase weight bearing surface without making the rider discomfort